Hello everyone, this is Tony Ihan Agman. Today I'm here to discuss with you one of the important news of the week. As you know, due to issues with the suspending bill, Congress couldn't pass the bill that President Trump was going to sign. There are some issues because of that right now. Uh, there's a government shutdown in place and partially the federal government is shut down. Almost 25% of the federal government is not operating right now. What's going to happen now because the government shutdown happened? And the secondly, the government shutdown, is it going to affect the immigration procedures or, you know, immigration court or applications that preceding immigration? And also if there are any scheduled appointments, so what's going to happen with them? So there are bunch of issues to think about how the government shutdown is also going to affect the immigration process, you know, right now. As everyone knows that the President Trump, you know, since his candidacy for the presidential, uh, election. He always wanted to have a vault to build the southern border of the U.S. But as you know, before the election, he was keep claiming that he was going to have Mexico to pay for that, you know, vault. But right now, he still wants to get that vault, but he wants to uh, have the Congress to approve five billion dollar for the vault to be built. So not only the Democrats, some you know Republicans also feel that that's an outrageous number. That's why they're not agreeing. This is why even the spending bill was passed through the House, but was not able to pass the Senate. So now we are in the government shutdown and the federal government partially is not operating right now. We could say that the federal employees will work without a pay. Almost like around uh, 420,000 federal employees across numerous agencies will continue to work actually, even as the government shut down. They're not going to get paid right away, but they have to work but they're not going to get paid during this whole day and, you know, seasons and this new year time. Secondly, furloughed workers, another like 380,000 federal workers or more could be placed actually on a temporary, you know, uh, leave without receiving any payment if this shutdown continues. What we can say that there are major departments closures right now happening and there are, you know, multiple small agencies also have to close down right now. And what I can say that there are nine federal uh, departments shattered as the government shutdown happened. So those includes Department of Treasury, Department of Agriculture, a Homeland Security Department, Department of Interior, Department of State, Department of Housing and Urban Development, Department of Transportation, Department of Commerce, and Department of Justice. So right now, almost 25% of the federal government employees and also the operations, you know, it has to stop and affect it with the government shut down. And essential need or the national security of the course US, there are important essential employees or departments still operating. But currently it's, you know, almost 25% of the federal government is being affected with this shutdown. So second part is what I could say is, you know, with this, you know, government shutdown, how the immigration proceedings are being affected. I mean, what I can say that, you know, USCIS, United States and Citizenship and Immigration Services, it's continuing its operations. All the applications are being filed with them. It's still pending. And then uh, there are no delays on them. And if there are any scheduled interview or appointment at the USCIS or asylum office, they all going to continue and happening so they're not going to be rescheduled only part is being affected i could say this at the immigration courts and immigration courts the exception of the detained dockets detained cases the rest of the immigration court hearings are going to be rescheduled and you right now as of now um if there are any hearings it's not going to happen and due to government shut down immigration courts is not operating until the uh, new development but this is the situation right now. Another thing we could say that that's being or will be affected is will be Department of State. And of course, the, you know, the consulates and embassies are being, you know, operating under the Department of State, uh, which is a department actually being affected with the shutdown. So right now, currently the consulates and embassies around the world will continue issuing visas until actually they have any budget or financial issues. So once they have a budget or financial issues, they're going to only start issuing diplomatic visas and emergency visas. And the rest of the visas are going to actually, they're going to hold on. They're going to, you know, stop the proceedings until the next, of course, development. This is an interesting, you know, a situation, but uh, where we are seeing that the President Donald Trump really wants to have the wall built. And so that he is consistent about it. He says that he needs to get the bill to actually provide a $5 billion. And he's not thinking the amount which is already in place is enough for it. And whereas Democrats and some of the Republicans think this is an outrageous number that the president is asking for the border. So we hope that this issue will not continue too long and will be resolved soon. So at least 
the, the federal employees or the people will not be affected too much about this. So thank you so much for your time and hopefully there are any other improvements about the shutdown we will share with you. Thank you so much and Happy New Year.